Okay, so let's go to basics a bit. We'll turn off our, our all our mega scan assets. We'll turn off the render rocks. And I do want the ground plane back. Let it load for a second. Let me just um, turn the subdivide to one again for now. And if we now go, so we're going back to sim land, we're going to our grain sim. So I'm going to turn off the brain for uh, a while and go in. So we replaced our ground plane by our own um, plane. So we have to add that in. So we'll say terrain object. We're basically doing the same, the same thing we did on the rock sim. Okay, so we'll tidy this up. We'll delete this. We just have to remember to um, turn up the friction. So in here, object path, uh, ground plane, sub path is out ground plane. Okay, and then we go to physical. So friction five and bounce zero. So now we have the same settings as this one. So we can delete this one now. And let's make another static object. Oops, static for, and this is gonna be our rock colliders. And this is our ground plane. Okay, let's hook this one up as well. And let's go to our rock render, um, uh, render rocks. So object path and our sub path is uh, rocks out. And then we have to hook up our proxy, uh, proxy volume. And this is, where's my render rocks? Render rocks. This will be our uh, rock VDB collider out. And we'll say this is a volume sample. And up here in the collision detection, we have to force this to use the volume collisions because sometimes it gets stuck on surface collisions and then it's way too slow. So use volume collisions. Okay. So we have our rock colliders in, we have our new ground plane in, the ship is the same. Um, so yeah, let's turn on the brain. Okay, let's, let's take a step back actually, because um, we need our grains and our rocks to, be, to have settled both um, at frame 100. And right now the rocks aren't even here before frame 100 because we uh, cached our sim at uh, from frame 100 to 275 and we didn't cache anything before frame 100 so let's play let's let's just give our grain some attention first i'm going to uh, delete the link here for now okay so let's uh, bring back our full timeline and go to the first frame Okay, so let's take a look. Um, so same as with our rocks, we want these grains to fall down and settle into our ground plane. So right now, I don't think all of them are above the ground plane. So let's go to our grain source, uh, the grain source. And let's move these grains up. So our, our grain source has to move up a bit. We can do that with a transform and we'll put the transform before our, uh, or after our subdivides and, and noise. So between here and now it's calculating the jitter skill. So let's turn that off for now as well to get some speed back. Okay. Um, let's tidy this up. Okay, 
So in our transform, let's move it up a bit. Okay, so let's do let's do let's do zero point three. So we moved it up just a little, but now all of the grains are over our ground plane. Go into the grain sim. And let's see. yeah, so now we don't see any grains beneath here. So when we press play, our grains will fall down. Let me just um, decrease the number of grains so we can uh, deal with this a bit faster. Let's see our points. So okay, so let's do eighty thousand points. This should be quicker. Camera, play. So they fall down and they should settle on the ground plane. Okay, so that's looking fine. Now let's get our rocks in the mix. Um, and to do that, we have to reset our cache because um, I want to, okay, let's cache this from frame one instead of frame 100. So it already reset to frame one. So let's just uh, recache this and we'll be back in a second. Okay, and then also recache the Rock Collider VDB. So one to 275. Okay, so we recached this as well. Now let's go back to our grain sim and reconnect the Rock Colliders. And let's do a short flipbook and we'll see what happens. So one to um, 25. Uh, I can already see that we have some explosions in here, which is looking cool, but it's not really the thing we're going for. Um, so this is probably because our grains are, uh, you know, intersecting with the collider rocks. So we'll have to, um, maybe I will, I will thin uh, our grain layer and I will move it up a bit more so that it clears these rocks. So take a trip back to our grain source and um, so let's also thin it a bit because it's looking a bit thick we'll say 0 0.3 okay let's do this and move it up a little bit more so hopefully this will clear it Hmm, maybe it will clear it just, let's quickly see, nope, so, so that's not enough, Zero point six, or maybe 0 0.5, Okay, let's just go save. Let's go to save route and do a one to zero point six. Okay, so this definitely clears the rocks. Flipbook. Okay, and this is what we want. So our grains and our rocks will settle. I see one thing though, um, our rocks aren't moving. So probably um, we are not using the deforming geometry. So, which is weird. Let me check that real quick. Um, so in here, when we look at our VDB, you know, they are moving because they're settling. 
and they should also be doing this in our grain sim um, so let's say use the forming geometry so this should fix uh, the issue let's check it out okay so yeah that was our issue we had just had to check uh, that our rocks are deforming geometry so you see them wiggling now okay so um, that's all looking fine so let's do a full uh, let's do a full playbook from frame 100 to 275 and we'll go from there okay so let's take a look at the full playbook And that's looking cool. So watch this rock. It, it, it collides with the grains. It pushes the grains out. And the other rocks as well. So that's looking cool. So I just went ahead and created a uh, another one with more grains. So I think this one has around 900k grains or something. Um, and I only changed two things. I made our grain source a bit thicker. So we, we did that with the poly extrude on our grain source. And I increased the attraction weight from 0 0.03 to 0 0.05. Because, you know, when you, when you increase the amount of grains, the, the attraction weight, you know, the clumping is going to be a little bit less. So you have to increase it slightly when you do more grains. But I think it's a little bit too much now. So I might change that later, but let's take a look. Okay, so we've gotten pretty far. We've, we have our grain simulation, we added our rock colliders. And so now we're kind of almost there. So it's time to do some final tweaks and then we can cash out our grain sim.